there are going to be voices that you don't like and that you disagree with, right? And that, I think that's one of the, you know, like I said, it's a tool and it has good and bad uses and some of the bad and disturbing uses are to propagate a lot of speech that we disagree with. And I think some of it does cross over to the boundary of, you know, false speech or hate speech or, or um, disinformation. And it's a real challenge to decide, you know, do the platforms moderate that? We, we kind of expect them uh, to be able to do that. Uh, I think there's a lot of debate about Section 230 right now, but kind of putting putting that to to one side. You know, traditionally, like traditional, like newspapers, magazines, radio stations, TV stations, you know, there's been no question they haven't been required to uh, host all viewpoints and all content. I mean, we did have the fairness doctrine at, at one point. Uh, I'm not sure whether people want that to come back or not. There's a that's kind of kind of an interesting kind of an interesting debate, but I do think some of what's driving the tech clash is this feeling that, wow, we don't like necessarily what others, you know, are saying, right? And that, that makes us uncomfortable, and, and it's this hard uh, choice and, and a decision about, well, how, what, what, do you, what do you do about that? Because when we have so many voices who can, you know, reach so many people, because the, the gatekeeping function is so different than it used to be. 